All right, welcome. This is Jay Sports, and you can like, comment, share, and subscribe. Press that notification bell so you never miss another one of these hockey videos. I will get to this right away. It is the Golden Knights versus the Anaheim Ducks that happened last night, and it was Gibson versus Leonard, and I will get to their performances later on. Right away, we get to the first period. There's an early Ducks chance that goes wide. Vegas presses at three minutes, and then Riley Smith scores a goal from Carlson and Martinez at three minutes and 30 seconds. We go five minutes in, and the shots are 8-0 Vegas. So this was a flat Ducks team, a flat start for them, bland even. It was a terrible and bad start for them. Oh, just goodness gracious. Krebs, Peyton Krebs almost makes it 1-0. It's all Vegas shots. All day Vegas. Gibson is just under attack here in the, at this point in the game. And his team isn't helping him. The first duck shot comes at six and a half minutes. It's a shot that sh really shouldn't count as a shot. But hey, okay, it, it, it counts. Uh, although not very dangerous. Smith was denied a second goal. Getzlov gets the second shot for Anaheim. Vegas already had 18 shots though here in this game. So it's 18-2 here for Vegas. Okay, that's a lot. They're 16 point. They're 16 shots off. Comtois to steal. We get a near miss there. In the final seconds, there was a press by the Ducks. Now, in this period, for in regards to the Golden Knights, everyone did well. They were getting shots to the net, getting traffic to the net, keeping the puck out of their own end, getting the puck down low, winning puck battles. They did a great job through the neutral zone. And they had a lot of speed. And look, with the more speed they can attack the Ducks with, the more they can get out of the back end. And I was happy with them in this first period. The Knights, pretty perfect hockey here. Dominance all over. Dominance, dominance, dominance all day. And I like it. We go to the second period. The play's in the far end of the neutral zone at this point. The Ducks get it out first. Ice it right away. The Knights started off really strong in this period. They kind of start to let it go really in the second half. And you're going to see... How, right? Like, it just, it, it wasn't them. Now, second period, of course, continues. Anaheim is only down 1-0 to zero despite the Vegas shots, but that all changes here with Haig scoring from Marshall so and Petrangelo at 3 minutes and 52 seconds. That leads staying there until 15 minutes and 49 seconds of the second period when Zegris scores a goal from Milano and Henrique, Adam Henrique. It's a 2-1 to one lead for Vegas after two periods. Now in the third period, it looked like Vegas could just take it all. All of it. But look, that's too easy for Leonard and the Knights. I'll get to that. We get a goal from Stevenson with assists from Marcheseau and Haig at 2 minutes and 45 seconds. Then it's Carrier. Carrier's back from Stevenson at 5 minutes and 56 seconds. It's Four to one. So, jeez, it's just those two goals. And William Carey, I predicted he'd be back, maybe missing next week. I guess that injury was less than what I thought, and I'm grateful for that. William Carey is a great guy, and look, who thank God we had him. But it doesn't stay like that for long. It's Troy Terry from Gru and Getzloff at 11 minutes and 18 seconds. Lindstrom scores from Lindholm and Silverberg at 15 minutes and 54 seconds. Then it is... Of course, normal for the Knights. They they just give it all away. They let it. They let the the Ducks catch up, and now it's all tied up with Henrique scoring from Shattenkirk and Zegras at 16 minutes and 29 seconds. Overtime settles nothing. Back and forth action between the two teams. Lenner surprisingly on his game despite giving it up in the third, and Gibson on his game for sure. So many partnerships trying to get the the puck in the back of the net, and you know obviously it didn't go in for either side. Dadanov with the shootout game-winning goal. And again, that's his second hero game of, of this week. He scored the overtime goal just the other night in Dallas, and then he scores this one to give Vegas the win. They win it 5-4 to four in Vegas. They go to 4-4, four and four, and Anaheim is at 2-4-3. and three. So different from what I said in the beginning. The shots, 21-8 Vegas in the first, 12 apiece in the second. 14 to 6 Anaheim in the third. So they were coming back. They were trying to win it. And 4 to 3 Anaheim in overtime. So they really desperately tried. But again, great job on Leonard there, I would say. The final shots 42 to 38 for Vegas. Power play. 0 for 3 for Anaheim. Vegas has no power plays. And maybe that's a good thing for them. The hits 
31 to 20 for Anaheim. So not too steep, but again, 11 more hits for Anaheim than for Vegas. Gibson saves 38 shots out of 42. Leonard saves 34 shots out of 38. And I will tell you now what I think really quickly. Gibson was absolutely phenomenal in the beginning. He was phenomenal throughout. He held Vegas to just those two goals and, you know, it, it was fine. Here's, or I think it was one or two goals. It, it was fine that, you know, it, it wasn't 8 nothing in the first. That's just a testament to how good Gibson was. The only thing that they had going for them in the, on the duck side in the first period was Gibson. The rest of the time, and by the way, Leonard was on his game for most of it too. There was a collision where Vegas got a penalty, I guess, for slashing or whatever. I, I don't even think there was a penalty. But again, Leonard was doing everything he could to save the goals, except in the third. What I found in the third was that Vegas got sloppy with it. They score, they do well in the second, they do okay in the third, but... They start giving it away. Three goals in less than six minutes in about five and a half minutes is absolutely absurd and ridiculous. You have a four to one lead. Keep it that way. And they never did. The defense was weak. They were keeping the puck in their own end. Losing puck battles. Not good in the neutral zone. Not good behind the blue line at all. It was absolutely a train wreck of a third period for the Vegas Golden Knights. There was no defense in front of the net. Leonard could have caught that fourth goal. He could have done it, but he never did. It, it, there's no excuse, even the commentators were saying, why he couldn't have caught it. So, overall, the Knights almost let it go. Almost let it go. They got so close in overtime. They got so close to losing it in overtime and in the shootout. Thank God for Dodanov. Thank God for Leonard. And I guess they did a practice for the shootout. And maybe without that, it would have been a whole different result. All right. That is the analysis of last night's game they will play next tuesday in ottawa and i'm excited to see them play the senators to denoff's fav uh, well not favorite but four more team all right make sure you leave a like comment share and subscribe to the channel we got videos for the cowboys coming up rumors for the dodgers yes that started their season's over but guess what the rumors aren't and some more hockey videos coming up for you